The next technique we'll be doing is sponge painting, but this is different than any other sponge painting you may have done in the past. We're using the sponge roller. Now if you look closely at my sponge roller, it's got big chunks missing off from it. The reason why is this creates the variation. You should take the sponge roller and pull pieces out to create a random pattern, which is desirable on the wall surface when you're painting. Pay particular attention to your edges, making sure that those harsh lines are left jagged when you're finished pulling the sponge pieces out. Now that we've prepared the sponge for the faux finish, you do need to have a base coat of a satin finish paint on your wall and dried before you begin. In order to create this look, you'll want to apply glaze to the surface using a roller. The most efficient way to get professional looking results is to ask a friend to come and give you a hand by rolling on the glaze while you finish up with the, the tool to create the look. In this situation, I've got my friend Julie, who's going to give me a hand. Ready to do some glazing, Julie? I am. All right. Julie's applying the glaze to the surface in columns using the roller. Now when she does apply this, she wants to stay a couple of columns ahead of me so that the glaze does not have an opportunity to dry before I can create the faux finish on the wall. Now while Julie's going ahead and applying more glaze to her roller, I'm going to take my sponge roller and create a pattern by rolling through and cutting through the glaze. I'm going to roll back and forth to create the look. Keep in mind the more you roll, the softer the look will become. So if you're looking for a real muted look, you'll roll it more. If you want it more jagged and textured, you'll roll it less. You can go ahead and fine tune it until you're happy. Now as you're working on your surface, the glaze is actually transferring from the wall to the sponge roller. When your sponge roller does get saturated with glaze, you don't need to wash it out. Just simply take it to a soft cotton cloth, preferably lint free, and download some of that glaze. Then we're ready to go ahead and continue on the wall. Julie will go ahead and finish up by applying more glaze to the surface. Again, like I said, keeping a couple of columns ahead of me. And while she's continuing to roll, I'll do my rolling as well. One thing that is different, as I had mentioned before, how this sponge painting is different than the type of sponge painting that most of us have done, is this, in my opinion, is a very sophisticated look. It's not the same old look that we've seen for years. I think it's beautiful. So that's sponge painting with the sponge painting roller. Thanks for watching.